how to tackle non-fictional text. First thing you want to do is set a purpose. Why am I reading this? What will I learn? Then I want to begin scanning the pages. Look at pictures, look at captions, maybe skip on a few pages. See what I can pick up. And then I'll stop and think. What's this article mostly about? Can I tell just by looking at the pictures and the headings and the capture, the captions? Now I can't read the whole non-fictional text in one big chunk. I can't read it cover to cover like you would a storybook. So I want to chunk it. I want to just use paragraphs, subheadings, and pages to decide how far to go. And in many of the science texts that you'll be reading, uh, you can just read from heading to heading. Now, after doing those steps one through four, that is setting a purpose, uh, scanning the pages, thinking about what the article is all about, or mostly about, and chunking it into small sections of reading, I'm finally ready to read. I don't want to begin reading right away. During reading, just read one chunk at a time. And then stop after each chunk and ask yourself, what is this chunk mostly about? And if you can answer it, you don't need to reread it. If you can't answer that question, then you should look at it again. Once you've read a small section of nonfictional reading, you're going to need to take some notes to help you remember it, to help you learn the material. And you should be able to take shorthand notes. You don't even need to write in complete sentences. Um, especially when you get on to high school and college, you're going to be taking and reading hundreds of pages a week. So you want to have this skill of writing shorthand notes that only you have to understand. Your teacher doesn't have to understand it. Your neighbor doesn't have to understand it. But if it works for you, that's all you need to do. So how, what is a trick to take shorthand notes? Well, the first thing you should do is open the book and find, find the heading. Start your notes by heading it. In this case, the heading would be Properties of Matter. I know that everything between this heading and the next heading is going to tell me all about Properties of Matter. Now I'm ready to write down any bold or italicized words that I see. And you want to make sure you have the definitions with those. For example, I see the bold word properties. If you drop both objects in water, you would see the cork floats, but the clay sinks. Characteristics like these that help us identify or classify matter are called properties. So I can write what I just circled down in shorthand. I don't need complete sentences, but I should see the bold of properties is a word that the book wants me to know. If I find any italicized words, those are also a big hint that the book wants me to know those particularly above all other things. Another thing I can do is look at any captions or write down what you find in charts. In this chart, just a few uh, physical properties of matter I see are density, ductility, malleability, boiling point, melting point, electrical conductivity, and solubility. And on the other page, I can see that physical changes can be reversed. 
For example, you can unfold a piece of paper and return it to its original size and shape. Uh, but most chemical changes, on the other hand, cannot be reversed. For example, you can't unburn a charred piece of paper. I want to look at all the pictures. I can see the difference between a physical and chemical property on this page. And if none of the above ap apply, if I'm on a page that doesn't have any bold words or italicized words or pictures, then I want to summarize a few little chunks at a time. In summarizing, I want to uh, get the big ideas and details that are supports for those ideas. So as I read the text, I'll pause, I'll think of the ideas presented. For example, an important idea in this main part of the text is, and I'll write that down, or I'll put a heading, significant ideas on sections that we read, or I can retell the text as ideas and examples. So by following these five steps, I can be sure to get the most important information that the non-fictional text is giving me without copying it word for word or writing too much.